All right. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hey, Amanda, good to see you again. Twice in one day. How awesome is that? Hey, Janelyn. Hi there. Jill's in the house. Hey, Keely. It's great to see you all. Happy Monday again for those of you who I got to see um, earlier today. I have the joy of being the TA for Energetic Architecture, which is the uh, class that comes after Mastery, and Joan is the one who teaches it. And so I get to see a whole bunch of people every uh, Monday at noon. It's very fun, very fun. It's great to see you guys. Hey, Elaine. Um, fabulous, fabulous to see you all. Claims of Truth Healing Circle. How fun is this? I just absolutely love doing this. Um, tonight we are doing a Claim of Truth from the Book of Mastery. This is actually the fourth book. Um, the first book in the Masters Trilogy, the fourth book that Paul Selig um, channeled. He channels Melchizedek. And um, that's what the claims of truth are, right? The claims of truth are attunements. I believe that's what they're calling them now. Attunements that are in the books. And they are um, phrases, sentences that you can say that have healing encoded in the words. And so... Um, just about every word that is in the book you, is, has the healing encoded in them. Um, every word in the book is a healing. So you can hold the book, you can hold it close, you can get a healing, you can read it, um, you can speak it. Lots of healing, alchemy involved in the books. And so tonight we're going to be talking about... Um, it's sentences from the book of mastery so let's get started set yeah casting a circle of light specifying that only source creator god my healing team and the privy council be present for tonight's claims of truth healing circle where we are going to be looking at the claim of truth from the book of mastery that is about abundance and about bounty we see the ones before us enjoying the bounty of their world receiving the gifts of the kingdom and we are going to wow let's Go ahead and start healing on the atheist energy because that'll be really nice. Feel like I want to sneeze? <laughs> going to heal that? Okay. Well, we are going to be talking about this claim of truth and we're going to be doing some healing. We're going to go on an adventure. We're going to have all sorts of fun and all of it in about an hour. So may it be with the blessing, blessing, blessing of source that we have fun tonight. Number one, let's have fun being in community with each other, that we get some awesome healings. That's a fabulous thing to, um, to have tonight. And that we know the truth of who we are, our, our light, our love, and everything in between. Just love, love, love each other. Yeah, love, love, love each other. Because when truth, that's all there really is. Love really is the only truth. And with that, I say amen. And of course, I always hear a whole chorus of ahos because somewhere along the way, we started doing that. So, here we are 
the Claims of Truth Healing Circle on April 15th. April 15th in America is um, tax day. It is the day when um, all accountants work till the very last moment and then go on vacation tomorrow because they have worked their asses off getting the taxes in for everybody. And it's the day hopefully where um, we get to go, whew, okay, that's done, let's move on. So tax day in America, it's nice to get healings on abundance and creativity and um, wonder and all those places where we may get triggered by um, taxes and money and abundance and all of that stuff but that also means there's a whole lot of healings available so um, while the frequencies come in there is oodles and oodles coming in because of course we're talking about abundance um, abundance which is green it's like the color of money and um, creativity also another green um, coming in and wonder and wonder is that cerulean blue wonder is the frequency of clarity and clarity um, wonder is the 12th level of clarity so you may hear me use them interchangeably often i use wonder because it's just really nice let's see I'm um, glad to have all of you here. I see Jenna has joined us and Kate and Rona. It is great to have you all here. It's just going to be fun tonight. Let's just have some fun because who doesn't need more fun in their life? So frequencies coming in, really awesome. An opportunity for us to have more abundance, more creativity, more wonder. When we have those things, man, things start to transform. So um, Jana and I agree with you for yourself, for me, for everybody on the planet, because everybody on the planet, you know, it's not just about money. It's not just about um, what's in your bank account. It's also about resources, right? The poverty scarcity mindset. We have those ideas across the planet. You know, I was sitting outside this afternoon. It was sort of entertaining me. I am always just a little bit entertained when the field starts showing me what is going on because I have a lot of birds in my backyard. I feed them a lot. Shh, do not tell my homeowners association. Um, and there were uh, probably about eight to ten doves outside and one dove in particular that it didn't matter how much food was out there he was busy and I say he just as a generic term was busy chasing the other doves around squawking at them because they kept going after his food and I'm like dude there's food right next to you there's all this food all around and isn't that the case for most of us, like there is so much around us all the time, but we go unconscious to either the energies that are there or the gifts that are there for us. And, you know, I'm not just talking about the energetic gifts, but also all the things that we have that we can like count our blessings on and we just forget we forget to go oh, that's right you know i'm so busy thinking i don't have this in a relationship that i'm not paying attention to all the places where that appears everywhere else and i get so focused on what my bank account says that i've forgotten to pay attention to all the other things that I have in my life like it might not look like money but it might look like joy and love and you know I have a roof over my head and I have um, shoes on my feet and I have a way of getting around so all of those things we get to take a healing on and take a look at and remember that those are part of what makes us so abundant so 
Um, hi to Tom and hi to the parrots. It is great that, um, Amanda, you have brought them in for tonight's healing. It is a fabulous thing. So the, um, the claim of truth that we're talking about and, um, is actually, I, I, I always go, it's not really a claim of truth, but it actually is a claim of truth. It just doesn't sound the same. Um, this is about um, releasing the fear of poverty and giving yourself permission to receive the abundance of the universe. From the abundance of the universe. How about that? Yes, absolutely. Pets are always invited. Feel free to bring your pets in. Do pets have abundance issues? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Do pets live on planet Earth? Yes. And yes, they can always use healings on all of that. You know, I've got to make sure I get my treats and nobody else takes my food. Yeah, absolutely. They um, certainly can, can join us tonight for sure. So we're talking about releasing um, the fear of poverty and giving yourself permission. So, before we start on our fun adventure, um, ask, where are you holding the most fear of poverty? Where are you holding the most fear of poverty? And what does that look like? That looks like just asking, okay, where am I holding a lot of fear around poverty? Mine is my brainstem. That explains why it hurts. There you go, Jill. What'd your cat say? My um, my cats are like, nah, I get enough of this shit. <laughs> they might be. Jenna. Yep, your eyes. Awesome. Janelin. Where is Janelin holding the most fear of abundance? Mm -hmm. Yep, frontal lobe and around to your temporal lobe. So it goes right here. There you go, Jill. Our cats can hang out together. Yeah, so we're going to get a healing on that. Amanda is your sternum. Yep, Tom, yours is your stomach, and, and particularly like the top half of your, the top part of your stomach, the top third of your stomach um, as well. Kate, Kate, yours is your throat. Throat, 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 throat. If you find yourself talking about it a lot, throat is a great spot to, um, to heal. I have been talking about it nonstop. I just feel like I'm going, oh my God, it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Fear of poverty. Isn't it interesting, that fear of poverty? Because, you know, a lot of that comes from lifetimes previous. So we're going to go ahead and, um, and look at pictures. If your Akashic Record Keeper wants to um, keep those pictures, we'll put them back in your Akashic Records. Otherwise, we are going to transform them. But we have a lot of past lives not just on this planet, we've um, incarnated on a lot of different planets, but we have a lot of those pictures of, um, of poverty and like struggle and it's gotta be hard and all of that. So, um, yeah, Jill, rubbing your hands together above your head and not getting a place. All right, Jill, Jill let's move that fear you just went ah! oh my god I don't want to look I don't want to look I don't want to look go ahead take a look see if it shows up 
Yeah, Rona, good point. People who spoke, spoke vows of poverty over lifetimes, right? Yeah. And those places where we have been punished because we dared to dream, we dared to aspire, we dared to go out and do something different, right? To, to um, make ourselves better, to make a better life. Yeah. Yep, Jill, that's exactly where I saw it, was your frontal lobe. Yep. Yeah. So those, um, since Rona brought the um, vows of poverty up, we're going to move more religious pictures and programming. Um, yeah, there somebody, um, there's a couple of you that have like hands missing. You're like showing me like you have no hand because your hand has been um, cut off. Not just because you stole something, but it's like a way of punishing you for wanting to be ambitious. So we'll move more of that stuff. Got some imprints that we're that we're gonna move out. Yeah. Amanda, yep, I see that that corset. It's um it actually sort of looks like a corset, but when I look at it, it actually is a um a torture device for lack of a better word. Yeah. Definitely not something you want to keep. And for everybody who has one of those um torture devices, we're gonna move more of those. Holy cow. Whew. Take care of that. And um, wow, you guys are bringing it to the party. I'm like, now I'm seeing people with like um, losing their eyes. Like there's all sorts of things going on. So we're just gonna keep downloading more frequencies. Yep, help people move those pictures, frames. Ooh programming, all of that kind of stuff. Yep. Keep moving it, moving it, moving it. <laughs> My healing team is like running around going, oh, like, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, and just making me laugh tonight. So way to bring it, because we might as well heal that stuff, right? We certainly don't need that. Okay, so got the vows of poverty, got the fear of poverty. Um, keep moving those. Everything in their throat, just keep moving it. Whew. And up into um, people's sinuses, up into their third eye, their frontal lobe. Yeah, let's just keep moving this. See all this atheist energy popping up. Um, as well. So we'll just keep moving that. So we're going to give ourselves permission to receive the abundance of the universe. Right now, when I say give yourself permission to receive the abundance of the universe, if you find yourself saying anything contrary to that, we're going to give you a healing. Well, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't you know, I'm not abundant, you don't understand, all of those kinds of things. We're going to just keep giving you healings on that. Lots of judgment about, about that, so we're going to give you a healing on that. And then we are also, um, there are a lot of frequencies that you can ask for to help you with these places where you don't feel like you're abundant. Um, so if you were just sitting at home, not just sitting at home, healing yourself, working on yourself, 
One of the frequencies that you can use, thank you, um, Amanda, for bringing that up. <laughs> One of the frequencies you can use is um, worthiness, sapphire blue, and um, it is a great frequency to work with when you're working um, anything that has to do with abundance, right? Because we have a whole bunch of ideas that we're not powerful enough to create wealth. We're not worthy enough to ask for what we want, to know that it's always available right around us. Worthiness, worthiness, worthiness. So everybody feel free, put your hands out. You can put two hands out, you can put your feet out, <laughs> put your tongue out. You can put out anything you want and gather some of these orbs that are filled with worthiness. Sapphire blue. Many of them, um, if you look close, they have lots of other frequencies in them. I just was seeing ones with gold in them, remembrance and truth, and seeing some with pinks in them, um, all kinds of frequencies. So whatever you happen to see, whatever strikes your fancy, if you happen, like you could just reach up and grab the one you want and put it where you want, but you can also let them fall into your hand. You can let them drop on your head. You can trust that if you're busy doing something else, that that is exactly perfect as well. And it will go where it needs to go. If you have any questions, feel free to, uh, to ask. If you have any issues for yourself, feel free to ask. So, frequencies you can use to help with this. We got worthiness. We've already talked about the frequency of abundance. It is green, like the, the color of U.S. money. Um, creativity, green, like a spring green. Creativity, because when you have more creativity, create with power. Uh, more wonder, more of that clarity. More of the frequency of expansion. How about that? You just keep expanding out, expanding out, expanding out. How about joy? How about adding more joy to whatever you're creating? Because when we can uh, create from a place of joy, it is amazing how abundant we feel. Amazing how abundant we feel. So there's joy, which is, um, is orange. There's also zephyr, zenith, excuse me. Zephyr is another frequency, zenith which is a bright orange. Those are both in that joy spectrum that we can work with. And then there's that beautiful um, blue frequency, gratitude, indigo blue, gratitude frequency. Gratitude transforms a ton of the low frequencies that we have around lack and abundance. It's just amazing to me when you, um. When you talk about gratitude and how transformational gratitude is, um, it, it, it just, it transforms so much. A simple thank you can say so much. Um, Amanda, I see that uh, sapphire blue orb <laughs> is kind of like, um, like a water balloon just went and, um, and splashed all over you. So yeah, that's really fun. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Uh, Amanda, you bring this to the party. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm so glad you said something because um, it is a party and um, we are going on a picnic. I will come back to your, to your, um, to the water balloons. We're going on a picnic. Everybody ready? This actually comes right out of the book of mastery. Let me tell you. 
As we have kept you so long on this plant plateau, I'm on page 352, we need to have a little feast with you, a little picnic if you like. If you can also understand from this mountainside with the purview of all things that there are many things that may be claimed by you in light and in joy that could not be claimed in fear, we will invite you to claim them now. When you released the fear of poverty, you gave yourself permission to receive the abundance of the universe from all that is. When you have said, I am willing to be loved, you may call the lover to you. You have the right, you see, to benefit from the creations on this plane. You don't have to become attached to them, but if you can imagine that the picnic that you are about to enjoy is goodness and what may be known to you at this level of vibration, we ask you to say yes, to begin to receive the feast that would be put before you in love and laughter in respect for who and what you are, for how far you have come, and what you may now claim. We're going on a picnic. You all ready? Everybody has a picnic basket. You can take a look at what your picnic basket looks like. You can have an awareness. You might just ask, what color is my picnic basket? You might have an awareness of what it looks like. Um, it can be the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest of, of picnic baskets and be filled with more than you can possibly imagine. You could also have a picnic basket that is humongous. It um, might look like a basket, like a basket weave. It might look like a sack. It might look like a paper bag. It might look like a lunch box. It might look like there's, I'm like seeing all these ones that are like more modern, like the ones where you open them up and they have all the little containers so you can put different things in them. You can absolutely have it any way you want. Elaine, I love that you got one the size of a house. Big, 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 big. It does not have to be reasonable. It does not have to make sense. And you get to put your favorite stuff in your picnic basket. So we're going on a picnic. You do not have to worry about being healthy. You do not have to worry about calories. You do not have to worry about any of those kinds of things. You get to put into your picnic basket whatever you want. So I am actually seeing ice cream. I love um, it's called Moose Tracks, might have other names to it, but it's like little peanut butter cups in vanilla ice cream with lots of chocolate stuff in there. And I did a quick moment of, oh, I can't put ice cream in my picnic basket because if I put ice cream in my picnic basket, it's going to melt. All rules are suspended. There are no rules whatsoever. So whatever you would like to put, put in your picnic basket. I actually have um, my picnic basket looks fairly, um, does it? It, it has, um, it's a, a picnic basket, but it has a very flat top. And when I open it up, it looks like it is endless. It doesn't have a bottom to it. So though, so although it's like mm, picnic back box, wow, yeah, more of that picnic basket size. Um, it's it's endless like I can just keep pulling things out of it kind of like Mary Poppins bag I love that Amanda says hers looks like a red lacquered whisk wicker basket and Tom's is brown with red checkered board cloth Lacey's is an acorn and Nick's is a yellow paper basket I love that um, Lacey and Nick are the are the parrots so awesome and um, you can put things in them. Like right now, there are um, things that kind of look like parts of sandwiches. Didn't say it. Had to make sense. It's like I see kind of like loaves of, of bread, and then I see like salami, and then I kinda, I'm watching like things that like um, slices of cheese coming down. So 
you are welcome to gather that you may <laughs> you may see uh, I see like spaghetti go figure coming down if you'd like to gather any of that stuff you can put it in your picnic basket but it is like um what is that oh um my kids i didn't really read this book but i do know it cloudy with a chance of meatballs and that is that it's just an endless number of um different kinds of food i think if anybody knows that any better um just constantly coming in so that's sort of the same thing we got lots to um to gather and put in our basket i also see for me what looks like um like a, a giant um fork like you would use for a barbecue grill so i'm going to put that in there um i don't know what i might use it ah, jill you are so smart jill has wine yes 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 absolutely whatever you would like Amanda's got white bread triangle shaped sandwiches filled with peanut butter and sparkling raspberry jam. I love that. The important question, does it have the, um, what are those things? The crust on it. Does it have the crust on it? Or did you cut the crust off? See, all sorts of things. I see um, candy hearts. And I see um, kind of look like mints, like peppermints coming in. See, Amanda, no crust. There you go. You get to design it the way you want, right? Any way you want. So very cool. So you take your picnic basket. Um, we are going up the mountain. Do you have to lug your picnic basket? Absolutely not. Your picnic basket is already there. We're going up the mountain. It's a really fun ride. You may have an awareness of how you're getting up there. Some people are going by elevator. Other people are going by what can only be called like an escalator of sorts. It's sort of going around. It's kind of a definitely a people mover. Some people are like, boom, 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 and they're on the top of the mountain. You see a bouquet of flowers. That is fabulous. This is like the weirdest healing circle ever. And we've done some really unusual things. But everybody's going to the top of the mountain. And however you get there is perfect. You may take a plane. You may have a bird. I do see Joan is like jumping on the back of a bird and soaring around before she lands in the top of the mountain. Did my higher self give me a heads up on all this? No. All I knew is we were going on a picnic. <clears throat> so, before I lose all you and you go, oh my God, this is so odd. We are up at the top of a mountain you however you got there it is absolutely perfect everybody i think everybody has been with me for long enough you know that you have a picnic basket there are definitely things that you can gather the top of the mountain for me i do see lots and lots of flowers um, in the top of the mountain you can pick flowers and put them in your basket there are lots of um there are lots of different crystals um that are that are there so you may just be wandering around and going oh i'd like to have this um crystal and i'd like to have that crystal it is all available to you there um amanda says tom is walking and lacy is swimming the backstroke there you go nick is driving a convertible and um, and Amanda is floating there. See, it does not have to make sense. Um, it is just however you get there. Amazing. Totally fabulous. Very fun. Tom, you must be the one carrying a walking stick. Um, I keep seeing somebody with a walking stick and it's just, it's the coolest thing. Very crystalline, very magical. 
So here we are on the top of the mountain. Take a moment to look around, to look at all that is available. Oh, it's not Tom with a walking stick? Okay. Kate, I love that. You're on a tiger cat galloping up. See? Look how fun it is. And everybody take a moment to look around. I see... Um, I see the clouds lifting. There's a bunch of clouds that kind of look like they were right off the, the top of the mountain. And the clouds are lifting, but of course they are because that's the unconsciousness that is lifting. Amanda's got a peach tree with linged out peaches. If anybody wants some peaches, peaches with bling, feel free. And Tom sees the juicy blackberries, yep. And you can absolutely take all of those things. Feel free to, you know, go and grab a handful of blackberries. And uh, I just watched Kat smash them all over her face. Um, and you can pop them in your mouth. Those are really yummy. Um, you can put them in your face, you can rub them on your elbows, you know, that kind of stuff is totally acceptable. This is the place where you get to play, where you get to take the healings, and you get to know that you get to enjoy everything that's out there, everything that you can create, everything that shows up for you is there for you to take you up in frequency. That's part of what we're doing tonight is just playing and reminding ourselves that all of this stuff is available to us all the time. It's not available to you just on Monday nights when it's Noah or when I'm doing the healing circle. You can literally sit in your, in your bed, lay in your bed tonight and be like, Oh my gosh, look at those gold rings. I'd really like to have one of those gold rings. And you take it and put it wherever you most want it. I'm putting this gold ring that I just saw on the hem, on my tongue. It's that easy. Amanda sees a patch of green asparagus that definitely looks like it's filled with lots of creativity. And yeah, Keely, it is. It's fun. All of this stuff is so much fun when you just start trusting that it's there. It's available, right? It's absolutely available to you. And you you bring this um this childlike wonder, which is why wonder was one of the frequencies that first came in. You bring this like, you know, when you're a kid and you're just like you know, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to create that. And um, I have a friend, Leanne, who has a daughter who is five and a half. And she says the most amazing, magical things. And it's just like, um, Bonnie, there's a unicorn standing behind you. And he is ready to gift you right in your butt. And I'm like, Sienna. Why is Jojo standing behind me and is going to gift me in my butt? And she just starts laughing and think it's the funniest thing in the world. But that's what we can do. We can play with all that. Yes, Kate, I'm so glad you see that, um, that pool there. And yep, if you want to go dip your feet into the pool, if you want to go drink from it, all of that, look. How cool that is. Amanda, I do see those um, rainbow colored hula hoops and if you um, grab one of those you can swing it around. There are frequencies that are spilling out throughout it and if you're standing in the circle of the hula hoop but if you're standing outside the 
circle the whole hoop, right? So the frequencies are spinning inside, the frequencies are spinning outside, and it's just so much fun. You're like, oh my gosh, I just want to giggle because it's so much fun. Absolutely. It is there for you. All the things you've ever wanted to do at a picnic, right there for you. Spinning it around your wrist, that's awesome. That's why I was like spinning it around my finger. This finger has been so swollen. It's like, just yes, let me put more of that on there. Awesome, move more of those control frequencies. Yep, it is that much fun. I see some of you playing like, um, kind of like hopscotch. Um, it's like hopscotch only because when you jump on the squares, there's like frequencies that pop up and some of them are like, um, they're like explosions of light. Uh, I was sort of thinking about when people run those um, marathons and they um, have all the chalk that gets, you know, thrown all over them. Um, there are the balloons to go back to, um, I guess it was Amanda who was talking about the um, orbs that um, hit her in the face and kind of burst. There are like balloon kind of things that are like, um, are being tossed and going into all these different places in your body they're just filled with frequencies it's so so very really cool there you go horseshoes those horseshoes are totally awesome and as um you play with them there are lots of frequencies coming off of them i'm actually i see the gold um frequencies i also see the blue frequencies on those horseshoes so um yeah amazing amazing stuff as a reminder the claim of truth is we see the ones before us enjoying enjoying the bounty of their world enjoying what's there that's right out there receiving the gifts of the kingdom you're enjoying the bounty receiving the gifts of the kingdom um, and it goes on to say, we see the ones before us saying yes to what they may know and receive at this level of vibration. You're sitting here playing, being in joy, seeing how abundant you really are, raising your frequency, enjoying this level of vibration. And we see the ones before us as loved, as loved, as loved, and as knowing that they are loved. One more time. We see the ones before us enjoying the bounty of their world. We see the ones before us receiving the gifts of the kingdom. We see the ones before us saying yes to what they may know, and receive at this level of vibration. And we see the ones before us as loved, as loved, as loved, and as knowing that they are loved. What could be better than that? What could absolutely be better than knowing that you are loved and that all of this is available? I see some um, rain showers happening here um, on our picnic. Um, <laughs> I think it, it just makes me laugh because you're always like, oh my God, don't let it rain. But it is, there's a bunch of you that are busy playing, playing, playing. Like, okay, so it's raining. Oh my gosh, look, it's raining. And just dancing in the rain, dancing in joy of what is there. So cool. So amazing. And as you all are, are dancing and playing and gathering gifts, do you know what else you're doing? You're busy 
putting off all these frequencies that are just, how do I, they're just overflowing off the mountain down into the world, off the mountain and down into the world. Do you all see that? It's like a big, like a fountain off the mountain and down into the world. Like, did you think we weren't going to be gifting everybody else in the process? Right? We absolutely are. Okay. So, I think it's really funny because I'm looking at like salt and pepper shakers and oil and vinegar bottles and like all these kinds of things. I'm like, what are all those? Yeah, they're just gifts that are available for us. And um, I have this awareness that I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm starting to feel really achy. And like, oh my God, this is too much for me. I just can't do this. I just can't manage all this. So let's um, move more of those pictures, frames, holograms, whatever we have the frequency for. Let's just keep moving more of those things that are telling us that this is not available to us, that this is not true, that it's not, it's too hard, it's too much, I just can't manage it, all of those things. Let's just keep moving more of those. And if you would like, feel free to ask for yourself, where is it in your body that you can feel that? Oh, this is just too overwhelming. Oh, this is just too much. Where is that? Mine is right there in the right between my shoulder blades. Just too much, just too much. I can't do this. Totally not serving me. So we might as well move it. Jill, your stomach. Yep. Wow, Jill, your stomach looks like, um, <laughs> you look like the kid who ate way too much candy. <laughs> Thanks, Ash. <laughs> this is just really kind of fun tonight. So, yeah, way too much fun. Way, way, way. Um, Jill, you're not going to throw up. <laughs> You're like, mm, mm, that's what you look like. Move that stuff. Move more of that. Pictures, frames, holograms. We can make songs about that stuff. All that nonsense. Amanda, you're like me between your shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really interesting um, for Tom. It's it is. It's like right here. Move more of that. And this is a great place for you all. If you all have some um, some ideas, some um, pictures, some thoughts that you want to dump, this is a great place to to transform more of those. Um, one of my favorite claims of truth from, from a lot of the books, it appears in a lot of the books, is, Behold, I make all things new. And I have spent some time um, over the last couple of weeks of purposely working on transforming old ideas, things that I'm like, you know, that's not really working for me anymore. I'm tired of thinking like I did when I was 35 or 40 years old. I really want to um, see things in a new way. So it's behold, I make all things new. It's an opportunity to just keep, you know, telling the field, oh, no, 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 I'm not stuck with any of these old ideas. I'm not stuck with a, oh, I have to, you know, behave this way or whatever it is. Um, behold, I make all things new. So not to throw too many claims of truth. Is there such a thing as too many claims of truth? I'm not sure. 
Okay, so everybody has a tablecloth coming in for them. I've been looking at these tablecloths going, okay, what are we doing with those? You can take your tablecloth and do whatever you would like with it. If you would like to put it on the ground and sit down and eat, you can certainly do that. But it is a tablecloth that's filled with lots of freedom frequency. That's a red frequency, ruby red. Um, definitely got a lot of freedom frequency and definitely has a lot of purity frequency. And those two are going to help transform those ideas that were like, we're stuck, that it has to be this way, that this is how it has to go, that this is how my life is. I'm just doomed to live my life like, I don't know, I want to say my parents, but dear Lord, not everybody has that. So you have a tablecloth. You can smoosh it together and put it in your throat. You can wrap it around your body. There may be a specific body part. You can actually put it on the ground and step into it and it completely covers you. It is a tablecloth with no rules, kind of like the rest of this, this evening. So um, no rules about what you want to do with your tablecloth. and. Well, I've said that your um, tablecloth has at least the freedom um, red and the purity frequency, that kind of snow white. There are a lot of other colors and things um, woven into it, so you may have an awareness of something else. Amanda, I love that. Wrap it around your hips like a dress. <laughs> Kate, yeah, tossing it up. I see you. You're like throwing it up and going, woo! Yes, absolutely. You might as well, right? It's there. It's for you. It's a gift for you. Do, 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 do. What am I doing with it? You're wrapping it around your head like a turban. Okay, I'm going to take a healing on the fact that I feel like uh, my whole head just got covered up. <laughs> I feel like, I'm like, how am I supposed to see? I feel like you just covered my whole head. And my higher self says, yep, we sure did. Very cool. Gifts, 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 gifts. You know, this is cracking me up. It's not, it's still a little light out, but I have a, a little bird feeder outside um, the window in the kitchen, and I can hear the... Um, cardinals out there because they have a very distinctive cheap 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 um cardinals are all about home native americans it's about the home and so let's do more blessings for everybody's home bless 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 more wonder more abundance more joy more love for everybody's home never a coincidence Home is where the heart is, wherever you wherever you lay your head. And then while we're still sitting here gathering, <laughs> Jenna said she fell asleep and just woke up and could see the tablecloth, wrapped it over my shoulders and wore it like a robe. That is awesome. Awesome. Amanda goes, I got another tablecloth. Now that's called abundance. Creating, creating, creating. Tropical flowers, green jungle scene with tropical flowers of all different colors and put it on your back like a cape. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. There are, um, there, there are a lot, there are lots, there is lots of food um, available. I'm just sitting here watching the, like it's like barbecue grills, barbecue pits, fire pits, all sorts of stuff. If anybody wants to gather, gather, gather from there. I keep seeing mustard and ketchup. That must be part of it. And while we are doing that while we are gathering things from there we are also sending lots of love and blessings to um 
to financial institutions um, of all different kinds, financial institutions. Ironically, I spent like an hour and a half today on the phone with a couple of financial institutions and I was really, really triggered by it. Um, I actually said to my husband, is there a reason why everybody we talk to sounds like they're 20? Like they don't even sound like they're old enough to work. And he goes, uh, yeah, it's because of how old you are. <laughs> ah, healings for me. Ha <laughs> ha. Jill, there are some s'mores available. Um, I hope I don't make you too hungry with that. You can make your way over to the... <laughs> Make your way over to the to the fire and and have some s'mores, have some um, marshmallows. Ashley, there is absolutely nothing wrong with being 20. It was just, well, in this particular case, it's because the person sounded so young. You do not sound young, Ashley. You sound um, very mature. This person just, anyway, there's absolutely nothing wrong with being 20 nothing at all and you're older than 20 so don't don't play that one um yeah they're just funny they actually sounded like they were teenagers so everybody head to the s'mores to the dessert table there's cheesecake there is all kinds of towers of food um there are um whipped cream um, swirls I'm like yo people you need to stop talking because stop showing me things because it's nearly eight o'clock but oh my gosh it's just like way too fun we're gonna go over swirls of whipped cream did I actually say all that thing yes lollipops are there big lollipops small lollipops um there are people using the lollipops like um, wands and creating magic whoosh um, very cool yeah um, the whipped cream around and round and round and um, many of you do not know um, grace grace is one of the um, members of the um, healing team and grace is like running around with like little spots of um, whipped cream in all the specific places you did just see bubbles Jill lots of bubbles bubbles from champagne bubbles from um, bubble blowers bubbles from the uh, those things oh my god I love these when my kids had them, those big wands with the really big, that made the really big bubbles. Yeah, that too. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. See, it is so much fun. The point is, there's so much abundance. It's just like, it's endless. And the reason why we come together in community to do this is because, I don't know about you, when I do this by myself, I'm like, oh yeah, look, there's hamburgers. Oh yeah, there's like, you know, oh, there's a pool of water. But then when I get together with other people and they're like, but I see this and I see that. And oh my God, what about this? I see those kites too. But I didn't see them until Tom saw them because there's so many things going on. But yes, you can fly kites. You can take your kite. You can fly your kite. You can put your kite anywhere you want in your body. Do you see how abundant we really are? Sometimes we get so focused, very linearly, linearly, yeah, that, um, you know, focused on, oh my God, I don't have this, I don't have that, and this, blah, 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 right, all that kind of stuff, and it's not true. We have so much more than we can possibly imagine, and when we start trusting more, Things start unfolding in ways that you couldn't even imagine. I am constantly just jaw dropped with the way things unfold, the way things happen as I trust that it's all going to, you know, unfold with ease and grace.
just keeps doing that. Did everybody get their um, their dessert, whatever their dessert of choice was? I just had the most amazing s'more. Like, okay, everybody stop what you're doing and put in the chat, how do you like your marshmallows? Do you like your marshmallows really burned? Do you put them on, set them on fire and then you eat them? Or do you like them gently toasted? This is a really important question. And everybody needs to just stop what you're doing, except if you're driving. How do you like your marshmallows? This is the official vote. I'm so kidding. Kate says, golden brown, almost to a burn. Jenna says, golden brown, evenly cooked and not on fire. I have to go with you two. I mean, that is definitely me. <laughs> if I can do it, I love it when it's all toasted the exact same color all the way around and then it's just yummy, yummy, yummy. Berna says, browned and toasty but no burn, so we had several brown and toasties. Jill's got a burnt. Amanda says burnt. <sighs> Tom likes his toasted. I think it's always fun to like when you're sitting around the campfire to just see, how do you actually like your marshmallows? And they're not, I think when you, um, when you burn them, it has an element of kind of the caramel almost um, flavor to them, so it's not all bad, but I'm going to take two marshmallows and I'm going to put them in my eyes and then I'm going to take a, uh, the chocolate and put it right there on my third eye because, wow, I just started feeling my third eye pulsing, 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 pulsing. See, you can always do that. Not in real life, but here you can. It's very magical. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots and lots and lots. Okay, how's everybody doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. To finish up our picnic, we have a star shower. You can lay down on the grass you can snuggle up with somebody you can find a little nook somewhere in the trees in the rocks but we are having a star shower it's a whole shower display event that is going on You may see shooting stars. If you do, ask what color they are and ask for some of that star shower wherever you most would like to put it. You may see, um, what are those? Um, falling stars, for God's sakes, falling stars. You may see falling stars. Feel free to collect them and put them where you most would like to have them. Amanda, I love that you put your marshmallows in your ears and the chocolate under your nose kind of looks like a mustache. There are comets. There are, um, I see there are stars. It's like, it's not like this. It actually is this. The stars are playing. Like, um, not just the way stars behave here, like stars just come down. There's like stars chasing other stars, right? And they're like, it's, it's just, it's really joy filled. Just take a moment and just look at how much joy and how much love, how much gratitude there is 
right here underneath the stars. It's for you. All of this is for you. Each and every one of you have created this, have brought all of this to the healing circle. Amanda, I love that orange shooting star for your throat and a red shooting star for your third eye. Yes. More joy in your throat. More freedom in your third eye. And yeah, I actually saw you like snuggling in to your honey. This is amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. This is available to each and every one of us all the time. We are so worthy. We are so loved. There is so much available for us. And we just have to keep reminding ourselves that we're having an experience that tells us that it's not available. And when we get into that mode of like, oh my gosh, I just don't have enough. I don't know how I'm going to make it. You go, wait, that's right. This is just an experience. I get to choose. I choose joy. I cho choose love. I choose abundance. I choose more creativity. I choose, yeah, all that. Yep, infinite, 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 infinite. I love that you bring that, Tom, infinite. We are infinite. Every day we're infinite, but we don't always feel it, right? We get caught up in the mundane, in the everyday, in the going to work, and getting things done, and getting the emails out, and all that kind of stuff. But I love that once every two weeks, we can get together and we can play and we can remind each other that we are infinite beings, powerful beyond belief, able to create all this magic. You all brought this to the healing circle. You sat with me and created it as I was leading you through. You created it. That's how powerful you are. That's how powerful you are. And I just want to remind you all that it is amazing. So you can continue to gather gifts here until um, tonight. The gifts are available, but in truth, the gifts are always available. You can gather them at two o'clock in the morning. When you wake up in the middle of the night and you're like, oh, God, this sucks that I'm up. You go, wait, 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 wait. Where's there a gift? Where's there a gift? Ooh, look at that crystalline orb. Yes, thank you very much. I'll take that. Now I'll go back to sleep. Remember, you're the magic. You're the power. You're the abundant creator of your world. So we'll be back here in um, two weeks. I usually, I think that's the 29th. Um, I think that's what it is. We're back here in two weeks. We will definitely have a grandbaby by then or Sarah's going to be all kinds of crazy. Just a little aside there. <laughs> As I seal the field under the light of the one true source creator, God, the one who's responsible for all this magic and abundance and love and joy. I thank source. I thank my healing team. I thank the Privy Council. And I thank each and every one of you for joining me for a really fun night. 
I am so grateful to each and every one of you, to how you show up in the world, to how you show up for each other. And I look forward to um, doing this again in two weeks. I love and bless each and every one of you. And I hope you have a fabulous evening. With that, I say amen and aho. And I hope you are just continuing the magic, continuing the abundance, continuing it all. Love you guys.